Hey guys, it's Mac OS Guru X here, and I'm going to be going over my 10 favorite Mac applications in my opinion. These are in no particular order, so remember that. And so let's get started. First we have Fluid here. Fluid is, I've used them to make Facebook, Gmail, Pandora, and Google Voice apps. And basically what it is, is it pulls the web page off into its own uh, application, so it runs faster. You can get, you can run these user scripts up here. And like I have ground notifications playing, others can remove ads and all sorts of stuff. So it's faster and slim down and all that kind of stuff. Next we have UnRARX, which you drag in your RAR file and it will extract it and you can choose where you want to put it. All that kind of stuff. You can password, you can browse, you can, um, and it automatically extracts them. So next we're going to go to ScreenFlow, which is what I'm using to record right now. So you see when you're done recording, this is the user interface that you're given. Now you can see you have two separate. You have the mic and the screen. You also have an option to record yourself. So you know you can play around with size. You know you can put it in the middle. You can rotate it around. Um, this is one of the best features is when you want to show something side by side with you talking or giving something up. You know, you have this little, you know, you can give it the classic reflection and you add the, and you just add the video action and it fades into that so it'll move the screen into that position, which is really cool. And there's other, there's audio actions, there's screen recording actions to increase pointer zoom and say, you can highlight things with your cursor, you can add text in, you can add a text box. I use those to block out some names when I'm making videos. And this is your, um, kind of like your uh, little box there that you can house all your media that's in this one document. So that's ScreenFlow and it's one of my favorite apps ever. So we're going to close that because we're not going to be using that. Okay, so next we have Quicksilver, which is basically a replacement of Spotlight, except much more customizable, and you can have scripts and everything in it. So you can see, I can open up any app, and I can also browse apps. So let's say I typed in I, and there's a bunch of I things, so you can browse through them. So that's definitely, it's faster and definitely better looking than plain old Spotlight up here. Next we have Cyberduck, which is an FTP client. So this is definitely my favorite FTP client because it's fast and all that kind of stuff. So Cyberduck is fast and it's easy drag and drop and all that kind of stuff. So next we're going to go to Beak. And Beak is a Twitter client. Go ahead and log in. And you can see here, I'm given with this nice easy interface. So we should, let's say we want to reply to someone. You can also favorite tweets. So we'll go up here and you can view your favorite tweets in there. You gotta refresh, but you know, you get the general gist. Um, so you can also retweet right from here. You can reply right under here so I can go smooth. We can post it, and it comes with ground notification, and it's really easy. And I like the interface of everything being in one window, and you know it's definitely slimmed down than other things such as um, it's slimmed down something from something like Tweety. So I definitely like that more. So. Now we're also going to go through, we're going to have ADM here. Actually, I already have ADM open. Okay. ADM is right here. You can see you can customize with themes and everything, and it's definitely a better way to go about than uh, IM or anything like that, or iChat. The only thing is it doesn't have video chat. So next we're going to go to SenUT or something like that. So basically what Sinuity is, is I'm not going to open it because I don't have my iPad, but it allows you to rip your songs off your iPod into your iTunes library. So if you switch computers, it's a great app for that. Next we have TextMate. See how we're doing on time here? Okay. TextMate is a uh, 
my favorite HTML, PHP, everything editor. You can see all the things it supports here. HTML, Java, JavaScript, um, Objective-C, Objective-C++, OpenGL, PHP, Plain Text Editor, XML, C, C++, CSS, all that. So let's say I wanted to type in plain text. You can see nothing's highlighted or anything. I can go... Uh, I could go just like that. I go body. Whoops, I am losing it. And see, nothing really is showing. It's just like as if I were editing it in text edit, which is not fun. So we'll go ahead and close this up real quick. And you can see if I go up here, we're going to choose HTML. And you can see the tags become highlighted and all that kind of stuff. Close tags, closes it with a italicized. So that's that. And finally, we have one of my favorite apps, Transmission. And Transmission is basically what it is, is a... Um, it takes your torrent files and downloads them, which is, it's really fast and reliable and never crashes, and it does them in a great time and does not take up your entire CPU. So those are my top Mac apps. The only ones that you have to pay for will be, <clears throat> excuse me, Sanuti is only a 30-day trial, but if you're using it just to switch computers, you know, you have no problem. ScreenFlow has a, I believe, a $99 price tag. As well as TextMate has, I think, a $20 price tag or something along those lines. Everything else is completely free, but these are definitely worth the money and my top Mac apps. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Comment, rate, and like. Or comment, like, and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you check out my other videos, and I'll be sure to, you know, buy these apps, look at them. Um, I'll have another video on some great new apps that I find along the way. And thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.